Hey guys, and welcome back to another vlog. Me and the boys are heading over to my brother's just to hang out with him for a little bit before he goes to work. Um, I also want to go to the Dollar Tree. I need to get some batteries. I want to find um, also some planner stuff. I, I'm going to need some more pens and I want to find like some little binders or something so I can start the saving challenge I want to do and I just want to kind of DIY it myself. Uh, Tank, why do you look so mad? Oh my God. <laughs> hey, he's not in a good mood, but we are about to go head over to where my brother stays. My sister-in-law is going to go to Dollar Tree with me. So we're going to go do that. Maybe grab them some lunch since we it's about noon almost 12 30 at this point so i'll probably stop and grab them something to eat before we get over there it's about 30 35 minutes away also this shirt that i'm wearing it was like stored away at the bottom of like a tote and it stinks it smells like mildew I don't, and you know at first when i put it on i didn't think anything of it i thought maybe i was just like smelling things but as i'm like sitting here it just smells like stale but we're already in the car, we're leaving, so it is what it is. I'm just gonna be walking around smelling like mothballs. Look at the snow coming down. And then can I have two large root beers? Okay. And two four piece Happy Meals, both with extra fries. What's that? Uh, barbecue. There you Thank okay. you. They like to be able to put their drinks in there. So here's your small fry. Here, I can come on, take it. And then your McChicken. What do you mean, how can you take it, grab it? I got me a four piece nugget and small fry. That's what I got. Because I have um, buy one, get one for a dollar. No, it wasn't for you, it was buy one, get one for a dollar. So. What? Like chickens, four piece nuggets, fries, with doubles. I think there was maybe one more thing that was on that deal. And then you want a barbecue sauce. And then Tink and Samir, they just got a Happy Meal. And their four piece shebang. Are they right now? Huh? Right yeah. So that way we don't take it in front of your uncle. That's rude. How? It's rude when you go to someone's house and you bring food and then you eat in front of them. That's rude. Yeah, that's rude. We don't do that. So we're going to eat now in the car and then we'll go in there. I got sweet and sour. <laughs> Is it good? Yeah. Things back there, Max. And <laughs> Where does this go? Just, just put it on the side. I'm getting sauce everywhere. Is it good? Yeah? yeah. <laughs> no, it's not good. <laughs> I think uh, your face says otherwise, your mouth does at least. <laughs> Is it good, Tank? You, you say how about me and you're hiding. Yeah. <laughs> Those are cute. That is true. Mom, a bra. <laughs> cute. Mom. 
this best mom ever. Hold this bar. Super cute. These are the like DIY lashes that I was doing, the individual ones. These ones right here. I like this one. outside people to like stock um, stores and stuff. They're called like merchandisers. There was like five, six of them in that store, like just revamping, restocking, putting new stuff out. But I only got some letter stickers and I was like, I'll just go back another time. We're not even dealing with it. And then I got a couple um, other things. I did get the, one of these cups. It is so cute. And I like the lid snaps on. So this would be cool for my iced coffee. And I got me some mink lash extensions. Love these. Some batteries we needed. Got AA and AAA. Some more band-aids for the kids. I got toilet paper for the boys upstairs. I just let them use this kind for their bathroom, which actually here, Lakin. Lakin, go take this and put this in the bathroom upstairs in the cabinet, okay? And then um, I got this little pouch for my purse. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just kinda cut that little handle off. I needed something to keep um, all my lip glosses and stuff in. And it has two little zipper pockets. I thought that that was cute. The last thing I got was this little cart candy because one of my friends here on YouTube, Marie, she uses this for all of her kids' hair care. And I said, you know what, that's a genius idea. So I'm not constantly putting everything away. Samir! I swear, every time I get home, it's like the screaming just starts. Literally no one's even in there, and he's just screaming. But she said she puts all of her kids' hair care stuff in the cart, so all she has to do is just grab it instead of going and grabbing individually everything. So she said she got hers from the Dollar Tree, so sure enough, they had one. So I'm going to put all of um, Tank's hair care all in here. And it'll free up some space in the bathroom, because right now I just have it in a basket underneath the sink. And it's overflowing with my hair care and his, so I'm gonna put all this in here. So this actually worked perfect. Huge shout out to Marie for recommending this. I got everything he needs. This is like, there's like nothing in this. I need to replace it, but there's, I use every single drop I can get out of it. <laughs> uh, but everything fit in there perfect. I got his brushes, curling cream, that big gel. I didn't think it was gonna fit, but hey, it, it rests perfect. So this will work great. I have everything I need all right here for their hair care. 
Um, the only thing that I don't have in here, um, I do keep a spray bottle of water and I don't know what they did with the bottle, but this worked out perfect. I'm actually gonna start dinner. I'm gonna be making some turkey chili. Lakin said, mom, I'm hungry. When are you making that chili? So I'm gonna start on dinner because I'm starving too. I haven't ate anything since we stopped and got that McDonald's at, I think it was like 12.30 and it's now 6.30. So your girl is hungry. The kids are starving. I'm gonna make this chili super fast so we can have dinner. And then clean up this kitchen, of course. And the kitchen's not bad. I just have little dishes in the sink, but I do want to clean it up so I don't wake up in the morning to dishes in the sink. It'll just make my mood better. You guys will have to let me know, do you clean your kitchen before you go to bed or do you kind of just leave it as is? I mean, I don't always clean my kitchen up before I go to bed. There's some days I do wake up to a dirty kitchen and I will say, it just sets my whole mood off because for me, my kitchen is like the focal point of our home. This is where we are always at. This is where all of the clutter usually is, all of the mess. So when the kitchen is dirty, I feel like my mood is just like, ugh, it's not good. <laughs> Because I realize um, that I don't have any tomato juice. I like to put tomato juice in my chili, but I don't have any. I attempted to order some for a Target pickup on our way back home, but it still wasn't ready. So I canceled it and I said, it is what it is. I'll just make do with what we got. Hopefully I have chili seasoning. So let's look up here. Let's see if we have chili seasoning we're gonna hope and pray for the best up here because if we do this is where it would be at taco taco you are kidding me uh, I'm not thinking we do taco What's back here? Look down here. I'm thinking we do not have freaking chili seasoning. Do I got chili powder at least? I am not prepared at all. We might be compromising and eating something else. Lincoln's like gonna be disappointed. He's like had his mind on chili. Paprika. I got paprika for days. All right, we're gonna go on Pinterest and see how we can make chili powder with the ingredients I have. <laughs> All right, Pinterest for the win. I found a recipe. The only thing I don't have is chili powder. Um, so we're gonna just tweak it. I'm gonna add the cayenne pepper just a little bit. Uh, it's had pep smoked paprika, garlic powder, onion powder, seasoning salts, oregano, and ground grounds uh cumin so hopefully i can make it do what it needs to do with this <laughs> okay the recipe says two tablespoons of smoked paprika oh, come on. One tablespoon of oregano. One tablespoon of garlic powder. One tablespoon of the cumin. It's already smelling like chili powder. So it says if you don't have the chili pepper, you can use the cayenne. Chili powder, I mean. I got that. One teaspoon of the seasoning salt. One teaspoon of 
the onion powder. That's what we got. Now we're going to just mix it up. Smells really good, I will say that. Looks good. This might be a game changer. I might not ever buy chili powder ever again. Chili mix or whatever. It smells so good, like the seasonings. So I'm gonna put that to the side and we're gonna go ahead and cook up our turkey. did it and I just have continued to do it the same. I do two cans of lights and two cans of dark candy beans. I do fill one of the cans uh, with water and I'm going to add that in and then I'm going to do it one more time and that's all that I add so then we're just going to let this kind of cook and do its thing I'm not going to add my chili mix or anything like that until it cooks down some I'm gonna add one more can of water. I don't, um, I like my chili chunky like that. So that's usually I, usually I, sometimes it depends. Sometimes I'll add four cans of water. Sometimes I'll do three, it just kind of depends. Um, now I'm gonna sprinkle in my seasonings. I'm just gonna do it slow though, just because I don't want it to get over. I don't want it to be like too strong. and. I want to taste and see if I need to add anything. When I say these seasonings, oh, they smell so fresh and good. I've never made my own like chili powder before. It's 
smells so good. Sometimes I do add um, tomatoes too, but Lakin doesn't like tomatoes and he asked me not to put them in, so that's why I didn't add any. Typically I would add a can of stewed tomatoes in, but he said, Mom, don't add it. He doesn't like tomatoes, so I said, okay. Mm -hmm. We will just do bell pepper and onion. I need to taste and see if I need to add a little bit more seasoning. Mm, that's good. So I'm gonna add a little bit more though. lid so I can keep that seasoning for next another time. Homemade seasoning is the way to go. Definitely will do that again. That seasoning mix, the flavor, it tastes better than the store chili mix. Way better. Our chili's done. You guys know I am obsessed with the cilantro. I literally put it on like everything I eat. Yum. And this is my chili. Mm, I made lake in a plate and then make the other two a plate and then we can eat dinner. It is now 7.30. Mm. Smells so good. What do you rate the chili out of one out of 10? A hundred? You like it? Yeah. It's very good. It is really good. That homemade seasoning, that's probably like the best chili I've made. Like seasoning wise, I'm definitely going to make it homemade. I add the cheese because I like it nice and cheesy. And I'm weird. Sometimes I like to just dip and eat the crackers. Mm. So real life is eating dinner, sitting here for over an hour. It is now... 8.30. I'm not cleaning my kitchen, you guys. I'm tired. The kids need their showers. I'm ready to take a hot soaking bath. So those dishes can just wait until the morning. I already put the chili up that was left over. That's in the fridge. Mama's tired. This is real life. Like I said, I don't always clean up my kitchen. Sometimes I wake up to a dirty kitchen and it's okay. The dishes will still be there, but a hot bath is calling my name. I hope you guys enjoyed just hanging out, shopping at Dollar Tree today, and my little chili recipe, even though I like had to throw it together, it wasn't how I usually make it, but I will say that chili turned out the bomb, probably the best chili I've made. If I would have had my tomatoes in it, it would have been even better, but I think it turned out really good, especially making the spices Making the spices um, from scratch, definitely will do that again. I'll link that recipe of the chili mix down below if you guys are interested. Some of you might already be up to game and already make your own chili mix, which good for you because I'm definitely going to do that moving forward. But I'm gonna go get in the hot bath. The boys need to take their showers and then we are gonna call it a night. So until the next video, stay beautiful, stay blessed. And don't forget how strong and powerful you are.